All right, here I am in the highlands of Mexico, the Bosque Village, with Brian Fay, uh, a Seattle transplant, should we say, uh, who has created his own world. Um, so how does a guy from Seattle end up in the middle of nowhere, Mexico? <laughs> <laughs> uh, it's been a long journey. Okay. Uh, and uh, ultimately it started with how I was raised and, and what I was looking for in life and, and my own situation in the world. But how then did I decide here, I guess? How did I end up in this place? Um, I actually, as, as I was wondering where to be in the world, took a world map and I started crossing places off. Initially, I was looking for places closer to where I live and in the culture I come from, mm -hmm. you know, where I can speak English and I understand how things work. But as I really thought about the whole world, I thought about, you know, where is a place with a uh, good climate where uh, it's not too obscurely far away, where I can still have connection with civilization a little bit, uh, where the language is, too, is not too difficult, and where I'd be welcome. Mm -hmm. So I started thinking uh, that I liked Mexico or Argentina potentially. Mm -hmm. Uh, is a way to invest in a different society and also I have some criticisms of US society where I come from so it all made me kind of curious that there's got to be a good place around here and I remembered hiking through the area so I came down spent a few months and, and this is after years of searching for a place came to this forest and it was for sale from a, a botanist a, a gringa in the United States and it just felt magical so I was just here and seeing it and feeling it. But at the time, you didn't speak Spanish. I did not speak Spanish. So you came down here, yeah. I mean, essentially like myself, and it was hard for me to navigate <laughs> and then to purchase land and yeah. move on in. And I'll, I'll like, tell you, that is very difficult. But I was 37 years old at the time mm -hmm. and fairly successful in my life. And so I was actually looking for something to shake me up. Because I think at that point in your life, um, there's a danger of becoming complacent. There's a danger of getting too adjusted, too comfortable, and accepting the world as it is. Mm -hmm. So I wanted a shock. Now the truth is, I had no idea how hard this would be. <laughs> I had no clue. But I'm, I'm still glad I did it, and, and it's been a challenge every, every year that's gone by. I've been surprised by things, and, and uh, yeah. All right, so let's <laughs> talk a little bit about um, so the original reason you came down here, you were saying, is uh, just to kind of shake up your world. Um, and But you've created this, and now, since I've been here the last few days, you've talked about your vision. So what is Bosque Village to you? On a personal level, like we talked about, I'm shaking things up, but, but for me it is a way to create a world that I want to live in. I am not comfortable in the world as it is, on a personal level. It also doesn't fit with my values. I don't even think that civilization as it is, is sustainable. What we're building, we can't continue doing. No. And so, for me, it's hope. It's an opportunity for me to, with my own hands, my own energy, every single day, get out there and say, I'm going to take a personal responsibility for what's going to happen next in the world. I'm going to try and reduce the damage I'm doing and, and make a positive impact on the land I live on and everybody I have contact with. So, in the long-term goals, um I know, I know you've spoken about expanding and um, getting people that share similar values with you, you know, to form some sort of a community. But just the people that aren't moving here, are you hoping to maybe impart some um, knowledge on them about how this process works, um, the benefits? Definitely. Um, this is not kind of a survivalist project where I want to go off, create my own world and hide out. Uh, the point is to be experimenting all the time. Mm -hmm and then sharing those designs with the rest of the world. And that includes people who can't come here. Now for the first years I was here alone, a lot, and then I slowly had more and more people coming through and some of them staying for longer periods of time. By now I've had uh, several thousand people come through and for each one of them they've, they've seen a vision of a different way of living that's affected them individually they leave and implement whatever they like in their own culture and they see things here that they agree with or don't agree with, it doesn't matter. They're part of a process we're in where we're creating a different culture. Now that, that connection with the outside world is very important. Mm -hmm. We want to publish the designs that we do uh, as open source. Mm -hmm. We want to publish the art we create 
uh, as Creative Commons. And so it's very much about serving the whole world. And that process is, goes both ways. Where, I mean, I've studied all my life about ways to do things. I've read a lot, I've talked to people, but I'm also very open to people's feedback and ideas and support about what we can do here. So this is um, not an isolated project. This is uh, a, an exciting project. I know I'm none other like it. And it's interactive with anybody who wants to take the attention and time to be involved.